I have some exciting UK property market news that has just been released in the UK. So can there really be any exciting news? <laughs> Very often that's all we hear is doom and gloom, isn't it? But unexpectedly, okay, the house prices in the UK rose by 0.9% instead of declining. Now then, what does this really mean? Is it true? Is it fake news? Is the economy on the up? Are house prices on the up? The reality is, in my view, okay, my opinion, is that nobody really knows, okay? Something can happen globally. Something can be said on the news. A politician can say something. Somebody famous can say something. And all of a sudden, that can affect the markets, whether it's stocks, shares, or even property. And the reality is, this is how our lives are run from day to day. However, for me, what I've seen is that over the last 12 months in particular, is we're slowly seeing a correction in the property market. Now, what does that actually mean? Well, let's put it into simplistic terms. We've been very used to very low interest rates for many, many years. Now that isn't really the norm. It's been exciting, it's been great. A lot of people have benefited from it, but that isn't really the norm. Now that interest rates are rising for a variety of reasons, okay, a lot of people are feeling the pinch and that is affecting the property portfolio, whether people need to sell, uh, whether people can afford to buy properties and so on and so on. And of course, because not many houses are being built, new houses, that means obviously the rental um, sector is booming. Rental prices are going up and up and up, which again is affecting affordability and putting pressure on ordinary families across the UK. But that increase in house prices possibly indicates um, that demand is beginning to increase again. Now it just might be a blip. It might be something that, you know, people are becoming more accustomed to with high interest rates. So they're beginning to feel a little bit more comfortable that they're not going to maybe increase any more. So they're looking to maybe buy, maybe first time buyers are looking to buy now that interest rates have stayed uh, the same for the last couple of months. But who knows, you know, at the end of the day, anything can happen. But I think it is some good news. Now, some economists and other property gurus, they'll turn around and say there's definitely a property market crash on its way. And the prices are probably, probably gonna drop by about 20, maybe even up to 30%. Personally, I don't agree. I think the housing market at the moment in the UK is, um, is a buoyant one but it's one that creates a lot of stability for the UK. And as we know, the UK has always been um, a great place to invest in property. In fact, it's one of the best places in the world. And I believe that will continue. There are other factors, of course, that we need to consider that will maybe from next month onwards bring house prices back down again, but who knows? But at the moment, things are fluctuating in little, in little amounts, which is great. So things aren't crashing like they did in 2008. And like I said, I don't think we're really going to have a crash. Yes, I do believe that prices are going to drop um, a little bit further. Now, why do I say that? Well, over the years, property prices have increased and increased generally across the UK and even maybe globally. Now, they've grown at a substantial rate, which for investors is absolutely great. But the affordability of it, um, for it to continue on that basis, has never been one that a lot of investors and economists and politicians and, um, you know, um, the stock markets and so on have been comfortable with. So they've been sort of predicting that the property market bubble is going to burst. Now, if you look at other reports, you know, from Savills, for example, they predict and forecast what they believe property prices or, you know, what the property market is going to be like for the next coming next few years. Now, when you look at previous uh, predictions that Savills have done compared to what has actually occurred, then they've more or less got it spot on. Now, when you look at reports like that, rather than speculation on the news and the media, you're far more, you know, you're, you're, you're far better to get, um, you're far better to make an analysis based on that information than maybe any other scaremongering information that you may find or come across. 
So yes, I think we are gonna have a property market correction. By that, I mean I think house prices will come down to a level that maybe they should have stayed at maybe a year or two ago rather than continuing to rise. Because, you know, as we all know, when things continue to rise in price, affordability gets thrown up the window and in the end sales stop. So what then happens? People have to reduce the price to be able to get more sales and we go, we have this vicious circle. So I think a property correction <clears throat> based on even the fantastic you know uk property market news that we've had today in that property prices have risen slightly is nothing to get too overexcited about okay um but instead i think it's um it's a good sign in many many ways that's my personal opinion so here's a screenshot that i've taken from one of um Savile's, um websites um, based on their predictions and their forecasts for the next couple of years. Now you'll see in 2023 that generally house prices um, fell, uh, you know, from anything from 8% generally up to maybe even 10%, 11%, even 12.5%, um, which is what, you know, um, sounds a lot. It really does depend on the price of the house, doesn't it? Because I mean, 10% of 100,000 is a lot less and is affordable type of hit to take than maybe 10% on a million pounds. So um, you need to bear in mind these type of figures when it says 10%, it, it's quite frightening or even 12%. However, when you look at uh, what Savills have predicted for 2024, they've shown a marginal increase in property prices which is, you know, a good sign. Okay, it might be only 1%, 1.5%, you know, 2.5%, but it's a good sign. And if already we've seen an increase of 0.9%, which I don't think is gonna maybe maintain for the next couple of months, um, it, it's, it's a positive sign. And then when you look at 2025, um, you know, Savills are predicting a general growth of around about 4%, and the clouds are still a little bit murky, they're still a little bit gray. But then they predict in around about 2026, uh, we're going to see um, growth maybe bounce back a little bit. So the average prices will increase by maybe 6%, 7.5%. So when we see a correction now and a decline in house prices of up to maybe 12%, um, by 2026, things are going to bounce back again and we're going to get the norm. Now, this is generally what happens in property, in a cycle with property. Every so many years, um, you'll see a drop in prices and then it'll climb back up and then over, you know, a few years later, it'll drop again and come back down. This is quite the norm. So if you're going to invest in property, um, it's always advisable to have a number strategy so that you can, you know, you can take uh, the good with the bad and so on and so on. Um, and then moving on to 2027, they see some further growth and even up to 20, yeah, 2027, um, you know, things are looking quite rosy. So again, if you've actually bought a property now and you're feeling the pinch um, and you're not making as much maybe profit as you'd hoped, my advice is if you can afford to, hold on, okay? Don't get scared into selling now and then, you know, selling it cheap just to uh, get rid of it. Um, hold on to it and uh, rent it out or whatever strategy you might have, because in a few years time, property is going to, property value is going to increase again. As is the norm when property prices, you know, drop and sales are very, very low, rental demand increases. And you can see here on this particular report, which is actually from Zoopla, they show an, uh, uh, you know, an average rental growth of around about 11%. That is forecast to maybe um, increase another 10% next year. Um, personally, if I'm renting properties, I wouldn't be greedy. I would try and keep my rent uh, within an affordability level rather than just become greedy and try and get as much money as I possibly can because it's going to be inevitable. Probably we're going to see this next year more than this year that people are not going to be able to afford to pay the rent and we're going to have some, uh, you know, landlords are going to have some voids in their rental um, portfolio. So that is bad news, obviously. Um, and, you know, if people can't afford their rent, uh, and you've got to evict them, then again, you're going to run into uh, more additional costs that's going to wipe out or if not reduce your profitability um, in your property portfolio. Okay, so if we have a look at another particular slide, um, 
yeah if you look at this particular slide uh, this is from nationwide and again they've given an overall view of how properties have property values have increased dipped increased dipped increased dipped since 2000 um, and you can see at the moment in 2023 we've had a dip i think it's stabilizing but it just goes to show that property prices always over time increase so like i keep saying if you can afford to hold it's worth holding now some people are saying that you know if you're um, if you rely on property on a property portfolio for your pension um, you're better off getting rid of it because the property prices are going to crash now to me that's a lot of scaremongering so i wouldn't be too concerned or i don't actually believe that if you bought you know below average price properties and they've increased over time and you're seeing a bit of a correction now of 10 percent i firmly believe that that is going to correct itself again in one or two years time so as i say it's worth holding on because as i say it's a pension for retirement so if you've got retirement in a good few years time it's well worth holding on rather than selling right okay one other thing i've um <laughs> that sort of tickled me a little bit was um i came across a quote uh, that was um from mark twain and the quote says uh, buy houses they're not building them anymore <laughs> now why does he say that well it's like gold okay um as we probably know um a lot of gold has already been mined so what happens when things become um limited the prices increase don't they so so basically uh with house building on a bit of a lull and they're not building many houses <laughs> like mark says buy houses they're not building any any of them anymore it means that he feels that obviously house prices are going to continue to rise and over time they do now my guess is over the next couple of years you're going to see massive pressure uh, created by the lack of house building particularly in the UK probably in many other countries as well so again house prices are going to increase as well as rental uh, demand is going to be there because at the end of the day we've got an ever-growing population so we desperately need more houses um, and if they are very few and far between then we may end up getting into a bidding war again in the very near future when buyers are desperate to buy houses whether they're to reinvest them and rent them out and so on now what you'll also find is a lot of asset companies and in, you know big investing companies they're actually investing a lot of money in buying up properties at the moment because whilst prices come down they will buy and then refurbish or build and um, you know let them out because at the end of the day there's a great capital asset there that is going to increase over time so the big boys are doing it trust me it's worth the little boys such as us to do it as well but you've got to be very cautious uh, always a good idea to do your own due diligence and, um, and make sure you get some advice if you don't know what you're doing so anyway i hope this is um, great information for you all uh, as i say if you haven't already liked subscribe to the channel please do because i'd love to be able to share a lot more information with you uh, to help you on your property journey um, there'll be other videos popping up either side uh, please have a look at those because it's um, there's a lot of you know good tips and tricks in there and sound advice that'll help you along your way so until next time i'll see you in the next video ciao for now